when it comes to your sleeping bag and your puffy that you're gonna take out backpacking, you got a big decision to make. Are you gonna get synthetic or are you gonna get down? There are benefits to each and it's important to really think these things through before you decide on your gear. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Audrey known as Glow Stick on Trail. I'm a 2018 Appalachian Trail through hiker and now I live in Colorado where I hike and backpack all the time and share my adventures with you guys. If you're coming back to the channel, thanks for being here. So for different reasons, I chose a synthetic puffy and a down sleeping bag. There are pros and there are cons to using both synthetics and down. So let's talk them through. Let's talk through the benefits of down first and foremost. The warmth to weight ratio of down is unrivaled, which is why a lot of backpackers end up using down sleeping bags. It's also super compressible, which is important when you're trying to fit a bunch of stuff into your backpack. It's also breathable. It retains its shape and locked really well. It's lightweight and it can last for a very long time. But there are also some cons to using down. The biggie is that if it gets wet, it can lose its insulating properties. So you really have to be very, very careful not to get down wet. I mean, a lot of like modern gear companies are treating the down in some way to make sure that it doesn't lose its insulating powers when it gets wet or like to, to prevent it from getting wet. But still, it's a risk that you're taking. Like you don't want to be out on a backpacking trip get caught, get your gear wet in some way, and then find that your sleeping bag isn't keeping you warm. Like that can lead to a dangerous situation very quickly. So you have to be very careful with it. When it does get wet, it can take a long time to dry. You have to take special care in washing down and it's not hypoallergenic, which apparently not many people are allergic to down, but you can be. And also it, it can tend to like pick up dust, which I feel because I am very allergic to dust. So if you are a person who's more prone to allergies, like down might not be the best option for you. And of course you might be opposed to down for ethical reasons. Okay, so what about synthetics? Let's talk about the pros first. The number one pro is that synthetics are much more resistant to water. So it's much less of a problem if you get caught out in the rain or get your synthetic gear than if you get your down gear wet. Most synthetics are resistant to moisture, dry out quicker, and will provide some warmth if they do get wet. Synthetics also tend to be a little cheaper, they dry faster, and they're easier to care for. They also tend to be hypoallergenic, and obviously for ethical reasons, they might be a better option. On the other hand, synthetics tend to be heavier, bulkier, and don't compress down nearly as well. So obviously it's totally up to you which one you wanna choose, but I ended up going with the synthetic puffy because I knew that I would be out hiking in all kinds of weather. I'm not a fair weather hiker. I go out in the rain, I go out in the snow, and I got my first puffy when I went to hike the Appalachian Trail, which is a very, very wet trail. So I just thought, hey, this is probably gonna be exposed to the elements. I don't know that I wanna be messing around with down. And also I am prone to allergies. So the more that I can cut down on the possibility of getting allergies, the better. But on the other hand, I went with a down sleeping bag because a sleeping bag can be obviously a very bulky and a very heavy item. And I wanted to cut down on the bulk and the weight as much as possible. So I just felt like down was my best option. If there were comparable sleeping bags that were, you know, synthetic, but super lightweight, compressed really small, kept me really warm. I would probably be more likely to want to get a synthetic just because of the whole allergy thing. And like, I'd rather not use animal products when I don't have to. And just because of the way that down is affected by getting wet. But I personally, when I was doing a bunch of research, I didn't find a sleeping bag that I thought was gonna match my needs that was synthetic. So I ended up going with the down. So again, it's totally up to you which one you would rather use, but you wanna keep these factors in mind and let them help you decide before you go out and spend a whole bunch of money on gear. By the way, if you're curious, my sleeping bag is a Western Mountaineering Pro Light 20 degree down and my puffy is a Patagonia micro puff. I'll put the links to these down in the show notes in case you're interested in learning more about either of these products. But I really like both of them, just FYI. <laughs> so yeah. 
That's the down versus synthetics debate. I'm curious, what do you guys use? Let me know in the comments. By the way, I'm definitely not an expert on synthetics versus down, but this is just from the research that I did. And you know, I really did a lot of research and looked into my gear before I bought it. So this is kind of what I learned. I'm gonna put some sources down in the show notes if you're interested in learning more. Like for example, there are a bunch of different types of synthetics out there that I'm not gonna go through just because like, I'm definitely not an expert on those, but you can do a deep dive if you're more interested. And if you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel for more hiking, backpacking, Appalachian Trail in Colorado content, and check me out over on Instagram at Audie Payne. Thanks for being here, you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.